Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to another episode of Crack One Open. My name is Duncan and in today's show we've got something quite unique. We've got four beers on hand to go through. I'm going to tell you what is the story behind them, who makes it, what does it taste like and afterwards I'll finally give my rating. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button as that really helps the channel grow. Okay, let's get stuck straight into it. So right here we have these four different beers. Um, they're all made by a big drop brewing company. What is actually the story behind that? Well, I'll bring up this website and I'll tell you. So Big Drop was actually launched in October 2016 in the UK and the idea for a brewing business that only made alcohol-free beer was driven by these owners' own lifestyle. So they had changes in their lifestyle, example fatherhood, which some of us can relate to, and the frustration was that there were no good alcohol-free beers available. So hence, they started making these. Now I've got quite high expectations for these beers. There seems to have quite a few awards. Having a brief look at them, they've got some really well described um, information on the cans. So what I'm first going to do is pour all the beers out and then we'll go through each one briefly and I'll just tell you what the aroma is like, what it tastes like and then finally I'll give you my rating. So stick around, it's going to be quite interesting. So let's start with the first one. It's time to crack one open. And we're actually going to crack four open today. So there we have it. I've cracked open all four beers. I'd just like to give a shout out to Long Breeze Distributors. I'll leave a link to them in the description of this video. They gave me the samples to test out, so big ups to them. And yeah, let's get stuck into it. So here we can see the different colors we've got here of uh, these beers. So up here, first we've got the Craft Lager. We've got the Pale Ale. We've got the RPA. And of course you can see the mold start. So all of these beers are 375 moles, 0.5% alcohol per volume. So that applies for all the drinks. Um, so we'll have a look at this one. The craft lager, it says, easy drinking, full flavored, but elegant. Light, herbal, and floral hop aromas. So let's have a smell of that, see if we can pick that up. Yep. Can definitely smell that herbal sort of floral pop coming through very subtle though so cheers let's get stuck into it it says a hint of caramel with peppered spiciness on the palate and a touch of orange on the end so this is very it's difficult to describe you don't get that strong hops of a normal beer's alcohol but it does taste quite quite chilled I don't I think if there is a peppery taste it's very slight to me but the caramel kind of makes sense that's a good way to describe it Got a, a slight uh, hint of caramel. But yeah, that's really good. That's definitely something you can try out. So we'll put that there. Make a mental note of what it tastes like. Next up we've got the pale ale. So on this one, this beer delivers on all levels rosy floral aromas yeah definitely you can smell the that as opposed to that first drink let's take a taste very different these two are nothing alike the lager and the pale ale as you would expect quite a big difference it 
says light and limey citrus bits on the palate and a balanced but obvious bitterness to finish. Slightly bitter but very mild bitterness. So yeah, another good one. LL. Now we're heading into the RPA. So let's have a look at this one. Look at the color on this one. Darker than the previous two. Bring that up here. And you can see. So this one says radiate citrus fruit. Yep, definitely the most uh, citrusy top fruit flavor as opposed to the previous two. Yep, you can toast that. It does have slightly but more bitter than the parallel actually. You can taste that. But also nothing's overpowering on all these drinks. It's quite well balanced, I must say. It's not extremely bitter or the citrus isn't overpowering. It's quite distinctive, so it's all positive aspects of it, quite distinctive. Um, but the fact that it's well balanced, it's all been refreshing so far. I can see why these have got quite a few awards. Yeah, those are all nuts. Now we come to the start. So this one says, uh, forget the notion that this is a beer stall. This has had its day. Think of a honeycomb covered in chocolate because that's exactly what it tastes like. So no doubt you can see it's a stout. Just give it a smell. Yep, it's definitely got that chocolate taste. No, no two ways about it. You can smell that straight up. All that chocolate aroma I should say. It's also got almost that like smoky aftertaste before. Like if you've ever had a motorhead bomber shot, I've done one of those videos before. It's kind of got that sort of aftertaste. But you can definitely taste the richness, the typical start. It's also really smooth. In summary, what I would have to say is, these guys, I understand why they've got the reward, uh, awards. Overall, they met my expectations. These four drinks, all really good in their own right. My favorite would actually be the RPA one. I felt they were all really well balanced, but that one in particular was well balanced. If I had to give my rating, just think on it for a second I'd be thinking four out of five for the craft lab, craft lager uh, four out of five for the parallel looking at 4.5 out of five for the um, RPA that was really great and then I'll be looking at probably 3.5 to 4 um, for the mold start so each in their own right really good drinks um, yeah that's that's nice if you don't have don't feel like an alcoholic drink but you want something that kind of tastes like a beer it's not overpowering it's really well balanced yeah these are definitely worth a try out thanks very much for watching and hope to catch you at the next one cheers so here we have my beer ratings from today coming in first of the big drop brewing company we had at four and a half horns, that was the RPA drink, the Paradiso. Then at four out of five was the, also obviously by Big Drop Brewing, Uptown Craft Lager and the Pine Trail Pale Ale. Then at three and a half horns, we had the Big Drop Brewing Galactic Milk Stout. Um, those of you that do like milk stout, I must mention that it was a good quality milk stout, so your rating might be 
leaning towards more towards four or perhaps four and a half. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of Milk Stout, although it was better than the Iron Maiden Fear of the Dark, which I gave two and a half horns. In this case, I gave it three and a half, but that's just the way that I felt it. But depending if you like Milk Stout or not, the ratings may differ. And here is a list of the spirits that I've tried out. Be sure to check out the links in the playlist to the videos of these.